hello everyone hope you all are well so today i will discuss about resonance in parallel rmc circuit so before knowing this you have to know resonance in series rlc circuit so you can get the lecture of series rlc circuit resonance in my playlist of circuit and network and also in my description section of this video okay so myself mr santanu naskar assistant professor of electrical department gkcmjis group and my mail id is santanu.uit at the rate of gmail.com and santanu.naskar underscore gkcm at the rate of jis group dot org and this is my facebook page being electrified with santanu you can get all the lecture in my facebook page and also in my youtube channel so before knowing this topic you have to know one thing that was told by the famous monk swami vivekananda that faith 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 in ours faith faith in gods this is the secret of greatness if you have faith in all the 330 millions of your mythological gods and in all the gods which foreigner have now and again introduced into your midst and still have no faith in yourself there is no salvation for you so always faith in yourself now let us discuss about your syllabus so name of the subject is electric circuit and network course code double es 3 ctn semester third so there are three hours theory lecture per week and one hour tutorials per week and two hours practical per week and credit point five so about this objective i have already discussed in my previous week lecture so about this uh, content there are seven unit i have already covered unit one unit two in unit two today i will discuss the last topic parallel region so let's start so what is parallel resonance circuit so parallel resonance occurs where the supply frequency creates zero phase difference between the supply voltage and current producing a resistive circuit in many ways the parallel resonance circuit is exactly the same as the series resonance circuit we looked at in previous video both are three elements network that contain two reactive components making them a second order circuit both are influenced by variation in the supply frequency and both have a frequency point where their two reactive components cancel each other out influencing the characteristics of the circuit both circuit have a resonant frequency point so the difference this time however is that a parallel resonance circuit is influenced by the current flowing through each parallel branch within the parallel lc tank circuit a tank circuit is a parallel combination of lc that is used in filter network to either select or reject ac frequency so now consider the parallel rlc circuit here so let us define what we already know about parallel rlc circuit so admittance y equals to 1 by z we all know which is root over g square plus b square g equals to conductance which is equals to 1 by resistance and inductive suspect suspectance bl equals to 1 by 2 pi f and capacitive suspectance bc equals to 2 pi fc so a parallel circuit containing a resistance R and inductance L and capacitance C will produce a parallel resonance also called anti-resonance. So this circuit when the resultant current through the parallel combination is in phase with the supply voltage at resonance there will be a large circulating current between the inductor and the capacitor due to the energy of the oscillation then parallel circuit produce current resonance. A parallel resonance circuit stores the circuit energy in the magnetic field of the inductor and the electric field of the capacitor. This energy is constantly being transferred back 
and fourth between the inductor and the capacitor which result in zero current and energy being drawn from the supply this is because the corresponding instantaneous value of IL and IC will always be equal and opposite and therefore the current drawn from the supply is the vector addition of these two current and the current flowing in the IR. Okay. So in the solution of AC parallel resonance circuit we know that the supply voltage is common for all branches. So this can be taken as our reference vector. Each parallel branch must be treated separately as with series circuit so that the total supply current taken by the parallel circuit is the vector addition of the individual branch currents. Mm -hmm. Then there are two methods available to us in the analysis of parallel resonance circuit. We can calculate the circuit in each branch and then add together or calculate the admittance of each branch to find the total current. Now we know from the previous series resonant video that resonance take place when VL equals to VC and this situation occurs when two reactants are equals which is means XL equals to XC. So the admittance of the parallel circuit is given as y equals to g plus bl plus bc y equals to 1 by r plus 1 by j omega l plus j omega c or y equals to 1 by r plus 1 by 2 pi fl plus 2 pi fc so resonance occur when xl equals to xc and the imaginary part of y becomes zero then xl equals to xc equals to 2 pi fl equals to 1 by 2 pi fc okay same so f squared equals to 1 by 2 pi l into 2 pi c which is equals to 1 by 4 pi square lc and f equals to root over 1 by 4 pi square lc and f r equals to 1 by 2 pi root over lc hertz or omega r equals to 1 by root over lc rats so notice that a resonance the parallel circuit produces the same equation as for the series resonance circuit therefore it makes no difference if the inductor or capacitor are connected in parallel or series now also at resonance the parallel lc tank circuit act like an open circuit with the circuit current being determined by the register R only. So the total impedance of a parallel resonance circuit at resonance becomes just the value of the resistance in the circuit which is Z equals to just R. Thus at resonance the impedance of the parallel circuit is at maximum value and equal to the resistance of the circuit creating a circuit condition of high resistance and low current. Also at resonance as the impedance of the circuit is now that of the resistance only the total circuit current I will be in phase with supply voltage Vs. So we can change the circuit frequency response by changing the value of this resistance. Changing the value of R affects the amount of current that flows through the circuit at resonance. If both L and C remain constant, then impedance of the circuit at resonance Z equals to R max is called dynamic impedance of the circuit. Now I will talk about impedance in a parallel resonance circuit. Note that if the parallel circuit impedance is at its maximum at resonance then consequently the circuit admittance must be at its minimum and one of the characteristics of a parallel resonance circuit is that admittance is very low limiting the circuit current unlike the series resonance circuit. Okay, So same as series resonance circuit. The register in a parallel resonance circuit has a damping effect on the circuit bandwidth making the circuit less selective. Also since the circuit current is constant for the value of impedance Z, the total voltage across a parallel resonance circuit will have the same shape as the total impedance and for a parallel circuit the voltage away from is generally taken from across the capacitor. And we know that uh, at the resonance frequency FR, the admittance of the circuit is at its minimum. <laughs> Uh, and it's equals to the conductance G given by 1 by R 
बिकॉज इन अ पैरल रेजोनेंस सर्किट द इमेजिनरी पार्ट ऑफ द एडमिटेंस द सस्पेक्ट बी इज जीरो व्हेन बी एल इक्वल्स टू बी सी एज सोन इन दिस फिगर सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द सस्पेक्टेंस एट रेजोनेंस सो फ्रॉम द इंडक्टिव सस्पेक्टेंस बी एल इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द फ्रीक्वेंसी लुक हेयर It is the inductive suspectance BL, which is inversely proportional to the frequency as represented by the hyperbolic curve. This curve is hyperbolic curve. The capacitive suspectance BC is directly proportional to the frequency and it is therefore represented by a straight line. Look at this curve with straight line. B C equals to two pi F C. B L equals to minus one by two pi F. So the final curve. So the plot. of the total suspect suspectance of a parallel resonance circuit versus the frequency and its difference between the two suspectance okay then we can see that at resonant frequency point where it across the horizontal axis the total circuit suspectance is zero below the resonant frequency point the inductive suspectance dominates the circuit producing a lagging power factor whereas the above resonant frequency point the capacitive suspectance dominate producing a leading power factor so the resonant frequency fr the current drawn from the supply must be in phase with the apply voltage as effectively there is only the resistance present in the parallel circuit so the power factor becomes one or unity because theta equals to 0 also as the impedance of a parallel circuit change with the frequency this makes the circuit impedance dynamic with the current at resonance being in phase with the voltage since the impedance of the circuit act as a resistance then we have seen that the impedance of a parallel circuit at resonance is equivalent to the value of resistance and this value must therefore represent the maximum dynamic impedance zd which is equals to l by R C. After this, I will discuss about current in a parallel resonance circuit. As the total suspectance is zero and the resonant frequency, the admittance is at its minimum and is equals to the conductance zero. Therefore, at resonance, the current flowing through the circuit must also be at its minimum as the inductive and capacitive branch current are equal. Because I L equals to I C and R a 180 degree out of phase. We remember that the total current flowing in parallel R L C circuit is equal to the vector sum of the individual branch current and for a given frequency is calculated as I R equals to V R I L equals to V by X L which is equal to V by 2 pi F L I C equals to V by X C which is equal to V 2 pi F C and therefore the vector sum. Of I R plus I L plus I C, which is I T equals root over I square plus I L plus I C whole square, and at resonance current I L and I C are equal, and cancelling giving at net reactive current equals to zero. Then at resonance the above equation become I T equals to root over I R square plus zero square, which is equals to R, because here I L equals to I C, it becomes zero. So, since the current flowing through a parallel resonance circuit is the product of voltage divided by impedance and resonance, the impedance Z is at its maximum value, which is equal to R. Therefore, the circuit current at this frequency will be at its minimum value of V by R, and the graph of current against frequency for a parallel resonance circuit given as like this. so the frequency response curve of a parallel resonant circuit shows that the magnitude of the current is a function of frequency and plotting these onto a graph shows us that the response start at its maximum value reaches its minimum value at the resonance frequency i mean equals to ir and then increase again to the maximum as f become infinite the result of this is that the magnitude of the current flowing through the inductor l and capacitor c tank 
circuit can become many times larger than the supply current even at resonance but as they are equal and at opposition which is 180 degree out of phase they effectively cancel each other out so as a parallel resonance circuit only function on resonant frequency this type of circuit is also known as rejector circuit because at resonance the impedance of the circuit is at its maximum thereby suppressing or rejecting the current whose frequency is equal to its resonant frequency the effect of resonance in parallel circuit is also called current resonance the calculation and graph used here for defining a parallel resonance circuit are similar to those we used for a series circuit however the characteristics and graph drawn for a parallel circuit are exactly opposite to that of the series circuit with the parallel circuit maximum and minimum impedance current and magnification being reversed which is why a parallel resonance circuit is also called an anti-resonance circuit now i will discuss about the bandwidth and selectivity of a parallel resonance circuit the bandwidth of a parallel resonance circuit is defined in exactly the same way as for the series resonance circuit so the upper and lower cut frequency given as f upper and f lower respectively denoted the half frequency where the power distributed in the circuit is half of the full power distributed as the resonant frequency 0.5 i square r which gives us the same minus 3 decibel point at current value is equals to 70.7 percent of its maximum resonant value which is 0.707 into i whole square r so as with the series circuit if the resonant frequency remain constant and increase in the quality factor q will cause a decrease the bandwidth and likewise a decrease in the quality factor will cause an increase in the bandwidth as defined by bandwidth equals to f r by q or bandwidth equals to f upper minus f lower f upper means f h f lower means f l okay also changing the ratio between the inductor l and capacitor c or the value of the resistance r in the bandwidth and therefore the frequency response of the circuit will be changed for a fixed resonant frequency this technique is used extensively in tuning circuit for radio and television transmitter and receiver then the selectivity or q factor for a parallel resonance circuit is a generally defined as the ratio of circulating branch current to the supply current and is given as q equals to r by 2 pi fl which is equals to 2 pi fcr which is equals to r into root over c y l note that q factor of a parallel resonance circuit is the inverse of the expression for the q factor of the series circuit also in series resonance circuit the q factor gives the voltage magnification of the circuit whereas in a parallel circuit it gives the current magnification so i discuss about all thing about parallel resonance circuit now i will go through an example mathematics okay so you know all the formula now the math is a parallel resonance network consisting of a resistor of 60 ohm and a capacitor of 120 microfarad and an inductor of 200 milli henry is connected across a sinusoidal supply voltage which has a constant output of 100 volts at all frequency calculate the resonant frequency the quality factor and the bandwidth of the circuit the circuit current at resonance and current magnification so look at this circuit this is a series uh, parallel rlc circuit this is the value of resistance, this is the value of inductance, and this is the value of capacitance, which will we all know that. And voltage, so the supply voltage is 100 volts. So just apply the formula number one resonant frequency FR equals to 1 by 2 pi root over LC, which is equals to 1 by 2 pi root over 0 0.2 120. 10 to the power minus 6 the value of resonant frequency 32.5 hertz 
then inductive reactance at resonance xl which is equals to 2 pi fl the value of inductive reactance is 40.8 ohm quality factor q the formula is q equals to r by xl or we can write r by 2 pi fl so 60 by 40.8 okay now the bandwidth bandwidth equals to fr by q so we know the value of fr resonance frequency and q factor so 32.5 by 1.47 which is 22 hertz now 5 the upper and lower minus 3 decibel frequency point fh and fl fl equals to fr minus one minus half bandwidth which is equal to 32.5 minus half into 22 which is 20 1.5 and f which equals to fr plus half bandwidth which is equals to 43.5 hertz and number six uh, circuit current at resonance which is it at resonance the dynamic impedance of the circuit is equals to r which is equals to it equals to ir which i have already discussed so v by r which is equals to 100 by 60 which is 1.67 ampere and number seven current magnification i mag equals to q into it this is the formula and by putting this value of q and it we get 2.45 ampere and note that the current drawn from the supply at resonance the resistive current is only 1.67 ampere while the current flowing around the lc tank circuit is larger at 2.45 amps we can check this value by calculating the current flowing through the inductor or capacitor at resonance which can write this iel equals to v by xl which is equals to v by 2 pi fl and this is equals to 100 by 2 pi 32.5 0.2 which is equal to 2.45 amps now i will discuss about the summary of parallel resonance circuit which i have already discussed in this uh, lecture video so i just summarized those things so we have seen that parallel resonance circuit are similar to series resonance circuit resonance occurs in a parallel rsc circuit when the total circuit current is in phase with the supply voltage as the two reactive component cancel each other out and at resonance the admittance of the circuit is at its minimum and is equals to the conductance of the circuit also at resonance the current drawn from the supply is also at its minimum and it is determined by the value of parallel resistance and then the equation used to calculate the resonance frequency point is the same for the previous series circuit however while the use of either pure or impure components in the series rlc circuit does not affect the calculation of resonant frequency by in parallel rlc circuit it does and we have assumed that the two reactive component are purely inductive and purely capacitive with zero impedance however in reality the inductor will contain some amount resistance in series RS with the inductive coil since inductor and solenoids are wound coils of wire usually made from copper wrapped around a central coil. Now therefore the basic equation above for calculating the parallel resonance frequency FR of a pure parallel resonance circuit will need to be modified slightly to take account of the impure inductor having a series register. Then resonance frequency uh, we can uh, here L is the inductance of the coil and C is the parallel capacitance RS is the DC resistive value of the coil and this is the value of resonant frequency using impure inductor which is FR equals to 1 by 2 pi root over 1 by LC minus RS by L whole square now I will discuss about RLC series and parallel resonance comparison this may be similarities or difference so this is the series resonance circuit and this is the parallel resonance circuit here in series resonance an RLC series circuit is shown when the inductive reactance is equal to the capacity reactance then the RLC series circuit comes to the resonance condition for a certain value of applied frequency this condition arises, and that frequency is called resonant frequency at the resonant condition the inductive reactance and capacity will be same and they cancel each other here 
for RLC parallel circuit is shown when the net reactive or wattless components equals to zero when the resonance occurs in RLC parallel circuit. At resonance condition, the net suspectance is equal to zero and at resonance condition, the admittance is equal to the conductance. Now, some similarities. So, number one, at resonance condition, the power factor of the RLC series circuit is unity and at resonant condition, the power factor of the RLC parallel circuit also unity. Number four, the uh, number two, the equation of resonant frequency of RLC series circuit equals to F R equals one by two pi root of R L C L equals to inductance C equals to capacitor. Same as RLC parallel for RLC parallel circuit, F R equals to one by two pi root of R L C. Okay. Number three, the bandwidth of the RLC series circuit at resonant condition, bandwidth equals to FR by Q, FR equals to resonant frequency and Q equals to Q factor. Same as RLC parallel circuit, bandwidth equals to FR by Q, FR equals to resonant frequency, Q equals to Q factor. And number four, the equation of the half power frequency of RLC series circuit is omega 0 equals to omega root over omega 1 omega 2 and same for RLC parallel circuit. Now the difference. At resonance condition, the impedance of the RLC series circuit is minimum, but at resonance condition, the impedance of the RLC parallel circuit is maximum. Number two, at resonance condition, the flow of current through the RLC series circuit will be maximum, but at resonance condition, the flow of current through the RLC parallel circuit will be minimum. Number three, at resonance condition, the admittance of the RLC series circuit is maximum. But at resonant condition, admittance of the RLC parallel circuit is minimum. Number four, the equation of effective impedance for RLC series circuit Z0 equals to R. But the equation of effective impedance for RLC parallel circuit Z0 equals to L by CR. Number five, the RLC series circuit amplify voltage at resonant condition. But the RLC parallel circuit amplified current at resonance condition. Number 6, Q factor for series resonance equals to omega 0 L by R. Q factor for parallel resonance R by omega 0 L. Okay. Now I will talk about some application of uh, application of series resonance circuit. Number 1, the main application of series resonance circuit is tuning. They are used for tuning purpose. Number 2, series resonance circuit also used as an oscillator circuit. Number 3, series resonance circuit used as a voltage amplifier. Number 4, series resonance circuit are used in the communication system for signal processing. Number 5, series resonance circuit also used as high frequency filter circuit. Now, I will talk about the application of parallel resonance circuit. So, the parallel resonance circuit is also used for tuning purpose and this is also used in inductor heating system and parallel resonance circuit is used for current amplifier and this is also used as a filter circuit and the parallel resonance circuit are used in RF amplifier. Now, I will talk about some reference book of this lecture and for this course. So, first book is Circuit Theory and Networks by S. V. Ghosh and A. K. Chakravarti. Second book is Circuit and System by K. M. Sony. This book is uh, very good for BTEC and Diploma Engineers. And Circuit Theory and, and Circuit Theory Analysis and Synthesis by Ovijit Chakravarti. And there are also uh, some books in market. You can go through these books. But according to my choice, these three are the best books. So thank you. Hope you all enjoy my lecture. And if you have any query, then comment in my comment box. Stay safe. Stay happy.